I've been thinking about starting a new everyday sketchbook and I then thought I never paint my A5s. I thought I'd have a go at putting a panel through the middle. So I've masked up, I'm going to put down a bit of gesso. This is a Liquitex gesso which will help key the paint. So that just dried very quickly. Liquitex, just titanium white. I've got a sap green. If I take a palette tool and cut through, I could get the under the under layer. If I don't like that, I'll just wipe that back. You can use pieces of stick. I could use the edge. I'm quite pleased with that. Yes, I am actually <laughs> really delighted. I'm wondering if it could do with a band of white. I like that, I like the result. Morning everyone, I've got my tea. And my sketchbook. I intend this morning to put a panel across the back. I'm really pleased with that, small things. I've got a few pages left in the everyday. I don't want to rush a cover, so I'm going to really enjoy getting a new cover down. I'll drop in the clip. I'm going with the Sea White sketchbook. All media acid free cartridge paper. Same thing then. Some gesso. Oof. to put more, I need another coat on there, a couple more coats on the back and then I'll be away. I made a little start so I'm just going to go with the chrome green hue. This is a PBO, PEBIO paint. I woke up this morning thinking about yeah. taking the concertina out and I've got a tray. I saw myself putting just two colours and seeing if I can run my roller down the length of a few concertina pages to begin a, few, a bit of landscape. I've put in some of this 
inexpensive neon paint. This is just really to have a bit of fun. I've got my roller. I'm going to take the tray outside with a concertina. Just grabbed one of the hookers. I'll keep it on the green side. So it dashed back in, <laughs> getting out of the rain, but ignoring the mark here. So quickly you can achieve such an amazing effect with that, with just so few tools and such little paint. Obviously I put it on the ground and I couldn't resist um, putting in a bit of grass. So I'm ready to mask, mask my concertina. I'll reuse the tape. I'm just doing this by eye. Some people might like to measure. I'm far too impatient to measure. That looks good enough. So. Okay, so that's a nice, a nice thing to do. I couldn't resist going a bit crazy on the concertina. This will need a bit of attention, but with acrylics, if I come in tomorrow and think no, I'll, I can just wipe that. I can go over with an acrylic. So not so much down this end of town, but, um, yeah, I got quite carried away and had a, had some fun with the paint up here. Morning, everyone. I had, I've had lots of lovely comments, but one comment that stood out from a viewer was asked about composition. I was thinking I could come in this morning and I could look at what I've got down very early stages on my sketchbook cover, um, I could analyse where the problems are. If we take it as a whole, I want to balance up this big area here. There's no connection. There's a complete disconnect there. I've also got a contrast of smooth paint to texture. So that's a good, I'm looking for contrasts, but sometimes you can contrast too far. They're not unified, that's the word I'm looking for. So I can home in on one area and enjoy that, but I need to be able to move around the painting and then stand back and see it as a unified whole. Is it interesting? Is it an interesting composition? It's not madly interesting at the moment. So I need to find contrast. 
that's important to me. I want to move the eye around the painting. I want some balance. I've got to make a decision. If that stays, I need to balance it out by introducing it somewhere else. We will see. So I've worked a little bit. I'm stopping here to just give it a chance to dry and it will be good to leave it and come back. And I'm really liking the amount of texture that I'm getting. At this stage, it's more integrated, possibly boring. So it needs an injection of something and I'll have to wait to see what that might be. Next day, I'm happy with some more paint that's gone down. I've got a weak area on the right hand lower corner here and I found it really tricky trying to marry the two as to see it as one. So I did concentrate more on this side. So I this is more almost complete to me except for this this area on the bottom right. I'm happy. I'm happy-ish with this cover which will be the back, but I might I might walk in and have another look at it tomorrow and see what I think. It did occur to me this morning that having said I take my time with the uh, with my sketchbook cover, I've got completely carried away with it. I've got sucked into it. It's getting there. It's getting better. I have had in the comments a request to say a bit more about the cards. I work at the moment. I've got varying sizes. This is 250 gram card this in this is in particular a six by six and i just wanted to say that oh in the uh, was it in here yes if you if you've been following along you'll remember the sketchbook i did two or three sketchbook pages and I worked a little bit more. It didn't look like this when we finished, but I did say that I'd be going back into it. And I'm not, if I'm honest, I'm not actually happy with that. There's more to go. I thought last night I'll take a photograph and give it an explanation of what I do to achieve a card. I photograph and then I crop, mess around with the filters, and print out, print, I print on just copy paper. So it shows me where, it shows me the position, but this is where you need to experiment. I might have a few goes to get the sizing exactly right. This needed really to be shifted over. I'm going to work on that card with a thin layer of acrylic or watercolour paint. I like the watercolour I don't know if I've got them up here at the moment. I haven't. I like the small watercolour tubes and those lovely pens that I showed you, the aqua pens. So that's it now. And I'll show it to you when I've finished did working on it. So my Epson printer is no longer available, no longer current. Um, haven't had a chance to come back to the concertina because I got completely sidetracked with the sketchbook cover. That's this morning's ramble. I made progress. What am I trying to say? That was my, so that was my initial photographed page of the sketchbook and so far that's what I've come up with so so as I've said I've used mixed media on there just to bring it up just to beef it up so I'm quite pleased with that at the moment and that's really all there is to it. It's your artistic eye deciding how you're going to how you're going to approach it. I mean, I could just sit down still and work a blank card from scratch with no with no with none of this, with no photograph, print, nothing. But sometimes it is helpful 
it's that thing having the blank page the plank the blank card a faint a faint idea if you desaturate the image can help okay. so that's cards i put the tiniest amount on my sketchbook and that must be nice and dry by now i just use a couple of sheets of loose paper to protect but it doesn't really matter if you get the odd mark um that won't worry me at all so i'm pleased i am pleased and when i see the back independently i am pleased so i'll put my hockey tape i can do that right now and let it sit up a bit let's move that out of the way hockey tape does literally refer to the hockey stick good memories of hockey at school i liked it all that running up and down so it's got nice stickiness I've just realised I'm showing you that. I'm keen to show you that and I haven't put my gloss. I'll have to be very careful and put my gloss medium on. Put your gloss medium on before you put the hockey tape down the spine. Oh, I'm having one of those mornings this morning. When you open out, you can just tuck in the smallest amount in there. Too much up this end. So I'll just cut that. Just cut that across. Just tuck it in. one painted A4 sketchbook, your every day. It needs, for me, I want to feel that smooth, that smoothness and it will give it, you want to give it a bit of protection. So I will definitely have to, I'll get my mini hoover on here and um, get some gloss medium on it. Right. I dropped in a photograph of um, sunflowers. Uh, I've got, I want to do next week, I want to draw the sunflowers, paint the sunflowers. I've got, I've got Constantina looking at me over there. Plenty, there's plenty going on as usual. So that's next week. Have a lovely week, whatever you're up to creatively. Keep all the lovely suggestions and comments coming in i write down things in the back of my book so i don't forget kathy um, gave me really good instruction for some gel print work so i really i haven't forgotten kathy i will get round to it oh so many things i had fantastic i had fantastic list of suggestions for the big painting um that was very very welcome so plenty going on and I love it. I, I like to hear what you're all up to and um, any ideas are most welcome. So have a lovely week and I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye for now. Bye.